Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alicia. I post new tutorials every Thursday, primarily on tumblers, but I do like working with other things like pens and wine bottles and I do reviews as well. So when you are done watching this video, jump back on my channel and check out some of the other fun things I've done. So other than working with tumblers, one of my other absolute favorite things to work with are pens and wine bottles. Wine bottles, especially this time of year, are in abundance because people are getting together with their family and they're having a good time, they're having some wine. And so I always have plenty of empty wine bottles to decorate. So in this video, I'm gonna show you two cute holiday decorations. If you're interested to see what I came up with, stick around and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Oh, but before I get started, I just wanna tell you that, you know, wine bottles, obviously, you know, once you're done drinking the wine are free, but some of the other things I've used uh, to make these are from the Dollar Tree. So it's really inexpensive as well. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm just showing you my little setup to let these bottles drain. I use toilet paper rolls, so it's nice and easy. So we're going to fill these, we're going to coat these bottles with polycrylic. Mine is watered down a little bit. You don't have to water it down. And I have it in this squeeze bottle, which makes it nice and easy to get inside these wine bottles. And so once you get the polycrylic in there, you're going to swirl it around and then pour it back into whatever container you use to pour it in there. So in this case, I have this convenient squeeze bottle. It fits really nicely in the neck of the wine bottles. Drain it back in, let like most of the excess, and then I'm gonna stick it in that toilet paper roll and I'll show you later uh, to drain out for a few minutes. And so here's the second bottle. And it's it swirls around really nice and easy. Uh, it gives it a nice good coating in there. And then drain time is about like, I don't know, two to three minutes. Whenever it stops dripping is pretty much when it's ready. And so with that, it, you know, I, two to five minutes, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really time it. So here's my little setup here. Using the toilet paper rolls, letting them drain. All right. So these are ready now. They're done. They're nice and drained. And I'm going to take my first color, which is Kermit because I'm gonna make the Grinch bottle. No, actually, sorry, this is packed snow. This is uh, a new white from Glitter Makes It. It's really super pretty. And it's got a bunch of dull, like colors, you know, sort of colors when you look at it from different lights or whatever. And uh, I pour a little bit in at a time and shake it around. So, I just do a little bit at a time because once, if there's too much in there, whatever comes back out, I am not going to put back in my bag because it will probably be coated with polycrylic in. So to me, that's contaminated. You can, I've seen people re-pour back in. I've tried it, like I poured it in a different thing and it was like clumpy, so I don't reuse it. All right, so that one is done. Now I'm coming in with my Kermit for my second bottle, which is the Grinch bottle. Shake it around, and again, just a little bit at a time. I don't wanna to put too much in because whatever comes back out, I will not reuse, so I don't wanna waste it. So I'd rather put too little in because you can just keep adding like I'm doing. And then once you're done coating that, that's it. You're just gonna leave that bottle open for about a good 24 hours to let it completely dry. But you can still go ahead and decorate your bottle. So here I'm just showing you that there was just a little bit of drainage there on my tray and I'm just gonna wipe it up and put it aside. This tray I got from the Dollar Tree. And these are toilet paper rolls that I made and I have a video on there, I will post it above. And so now I just, I'm not gonna show you the SVG. Most of you know how to do SU, SVGs. It's not really what this is about. So I did the Grinch face and I'm just gonna line it up on my bottle. Make sure you clean these bottles with 91% alcohol so that the vinyl sticks really, really well. I love the way this looks with the glitter being inside and then the decal being on the outside. It's, uh, I can't explain the look, it's just, it's like sitting on top, which is the look that I like. And so now I come in with the little yellow eyes and get them all lined up and put on. And I'm already loving this, I think it's super cute. You can leave it the way it is and put um, battle lights in there if you want, or I'm gonna continue to decorate. So I'm gonna make sort of like this hat. So I've got a piece of red vinyl that I cut into this rectangle and I am just wrapping it around the top. It actually was too small and one, you're going to see later, I'm going to do the cap. I'm going to paint the cap white 
but I didn't put it up high enough. So I wound up having to, I cut another piece. Oh, and see, Ari, see that little hand in there? Aria was putting water on. I burned my hand earlier cooking dinner. So she was being super sweet and putting some cold water on there to help me out. All right. So, sorry, back to this. Uh, so I cut out another little red piece and put it higher later on. I didn't show you that, but see the cap? And then there was like a space. So I fixed that. All right. So normally I would use like little white pom-poms, but I didn't have any on hand. So I decided that I was just going to take cotton balls and cut them in half and put them or uh, glue them with hot glue around the bottom. So I'm making like it look like he's wearing a hat. And so this isn't my favorite look as far as the cotton balls go. I next time would definitely come in with the white pom-poms. I uh, like them better. It's a cleaner look. This is, I don't know, it's too homemade DIY, if you will, uh, which is, you know, fine. Like if their kids are working with you doing this, that's, you know, that's great. The cotton balls are great to use, but the little white pom-poms, you can probably get them at the Dollar Tree super cheap. All right. So now I'm just going to paint this cap white. It did take three coats of acrylic, white acrylic paint. I use, I don't know, it's Apple Barrel brand. You can use whatever. I choose not to use dollar store acrylic paints because then you would need like 10 coats. So uh, let them dry, you know, in between each coat. And then I'm going to screw the top back on. And that's when I realize I need that red piece. All right. So where am I at with this? All right. So now I'm going to move on to the next one. And I'm doing a little girl snow lady, slow snow woman. Instead of a snowman, I'm doing a snow woman. She's got cute little eyelashes. Putting that on, I got this from this design from Creative Fabrica, and I will link it as I link everything else down in the description box below. And I am going to decorate this bottle as well. Like you could leave this here like the way it is and just, you know, put a cap or some bottle lights in it. But I'm going to go a little bit further with this. So after I get on her little cute nose, I got these fuzzy socks from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use that and make a hat for her. And they have these socks. There's so many different kinds and styles. Like there's such, it's such a cute idea. So you could do, you know, two bottles from one pair of socks. And how you do this is completely up to you. Like I roll it up a little bit. I'm going to hot glue this on. So you really couldn't put bottle lights in it now because this is going to be hot glued on and it really won't stay nicely if you don't glue it. You can try it if you want. Maybe Velcro if you want to try to make the hat removable so that you could put bottle lights in there and change the batteries when they die out. So that's completely up to you, but I'm showing you what I did. I'm making it permanent, so I'm just gluing it all the way around. And then I leave it long because I want to flop it over and tie the end of it as well. But before I do that, I'm going to take this yarn that I have. You can get, you know, yarn or like this ribbon yarn type stuff at the Dollar Tree as well and wrap it around and make it look like a scarf. So I'm sorry, guys. I didn't realize I was like out of frame. It's hard to do these these wine bottles in frame because they're so tall. So I apologize. I think you guys get the idea of what I'm doing here. But I did wrap this yarn around a few times, like three or four times, and then just kind of put it underneath and then just tied it like you would tie a scarf or something. So it's really cute. And then I cut the ends because I didn't want them too long and I don't want them like sitting on whatever surface, like counter or whatever. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to tie the end of the sock. So you know what? Ideally, I think I would have stuffed the end of the sock so it stayed fluffy, but I wasn't thinking about it. And so now that it's glued on, I can't do it. So go ahead and put like a cotton ball or something in the end if you want to tie this off like this. So I'm like trying to fluff it up and make it look like a little pom-pom. Or you could cut it and just like fray it too. That's another idea. And then just for a final pop of color, I glued on a Dollar Tree, a Dollar Tree green bow, and this is finished. All right, guys, these are done. Like, so quick, easy, and fun to make. And, you know, the kids can actually join along, too, with helping to decorate these. Just be careful, though, because they are glass, so, you know, you don't want the young, young ones. But, you know, if you have, like, a 10 or 11, 12-year-old, they can help you with this. All right, guys, so... This is it for these. I think I will be doing some more, maybe another quick tutorial on something other, some other idea. But 
that is it guys thank you all for watching please give this video a thumbs up subscribe share comment i love to hear your feedback all those things help my channel to grow i will see you all next time bye